Greetings program, Sarkoth here. With another Diofield Chronicle. Set up chat there. All right, middle of chapter three. Well, let's see, we got some. Character development stuff going on. <clears throat> oh, these two are, um, I bet he's trying to hit on her. Hmm. What's that smell? Well, what a charming greeting. And it's probably the scent of death you're noticing. Yeah, because uh, she... Necromancy, you know. It's all good. It's all good. I've been using a lot of necromancy of late. Oh, Lord. She's cray-cray. No, it's not that. It's something else. It's... Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. She got a new perfume. This smell is sometimes produced when synthesizing herbs for ancient sorcery. It's rather seductive, isn't it? I've heard it can put some people in a trance-like state. Unbelievable. Not content with corpses, you intend to bend the living to your will as well. We liked her. Not so much anymore. Ridiculous, I've done no such thing. Unless you're saying I've charmed you. Uh, no, the necromancer turns me off. Don't you know that hexes invariably invade their caster's mind? You must know that frequent use will corrupt your own existence. Oh, so you're concerned about me, are you? Of course I am. Well, you needn't worry. I am strong enough. Nothing can corrupt me. Oh, yeah, that's a bad sign. Be confident, as always. Mind that you don't fall prey to your own pride. You're one to talk about baseless confidence. <laughs> Perhaps we are birds of a feather in that regard. What is the uh, Prince Charming Casanova want to talk about? Castavir, I wanted to ask you something about Verma. Certainly, as long as you don't expect me to spill the Republic's secrets. You mentioned that there were unsavory rumors about the Vermin representative. What are they? <laughs> well, that certainly qualifies as a secret. Still, I suppose I've already renounced my citizenship. Yes. In short, it's thought that he pulled some strings to ensure victory in the election. Forging ballots, that kind of thing? Worse, he abducted opposition supporters. This caused outrage at first, of course. But soon people were too scared to speak up. He was the only candidate on the ballot in the end. Some would say that still counts as winning on merit. <laughs> Before long, he was one of the Alliance's top dogs, but he could rise no further. After all, such a divided Alliance is no match for the Empire. Really? Then perhaps you ought to have defected to the Empire instead. Uh. Perhaps so, but easy victories have never interested me. And I value freedom above all else. Freedom! That's why I came to Deerfield. An island I knew nothing about. The perfect place to clean your conscience after all the dirty work you did. <laughs> well, I'd rather not think about that. Thank you for the monies. Any other 
Nope. Other oh, side quests. Okay. Let's progress with the story. Have you seen Walter Quinn today? She's still crazy. Yes. She's her usual self, despite everything. I can't believe she can be quite so nonchalant. Why are you so alarmed by her powers? They could be invaluable in battle. Oh, that hex was incredible. There's no doubt about that. But I worry that her moral compass has become distorted. Mm. Perhaps that's just the way she is, Fred. By the way, she'll keep us on our toes. If she gets too cray cray, Andreas will put her down, I'm, I'm sure. I'm a little concerned about that, what Walter Quinn might do if we have to take action against the rioters. Indeed. Yes, we'll need to keep an eye on her. All right. And we will. Now to our briefing. All right, only quest available. Riders are disturbing the peace in the capital and cannot be left unchecked. Suppress them at once. Defeat all enemies, barricade destroyed. Is a defeat. All as defeat is defeat. And we got an SP and ingot and a treasure chest on the field. Yeah. Your mission today is to suppress a riot in Hodlin, a slum in Centralfield. The doctrine of democracy, invented on the continent, has begun to take root among the commoners. The reason for the sudden spread of democracy in the slums is this due to refugees from Southfield taking up residence there. Yes, the people's growing discontent is manifesting itself as violent riots and looting. You must urgently restore the peace. Bear in mind, however, that the rioters are not soldiers. They are civilians, unaccustomed to fighting. It is vital that casualties are kept to a minimum. Understood. Why should rioters receive special treatment? An enemy is an enemy. I, for one, shan't be going easy on them. Well, you get to stay here. Excursions, the Blue Foxes have built up a formidable reputation in Central Field. It is likely that some rioters will immediately surrender their arms upon your arrival. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. I don't make concessions in battle. They may be vulnerable, people coerced into participating. So you will have to on this occasion, Walter Quinn. It's their own fault for being completely powerless and spineless. Why should I feel any pity? What's wrong with you? As mercenaries, our livelihood is in violence. Sometimes we must take lives, but you can they order for no unnecessary deaths. We must uphold that. Let us depart. <clears throat> Walter Quinn, you get to stay behind. I mean, I'm going to use her, but she should stay behind. No one told me we'd have to fight the Blue Foxes. I'm out. There's no way we can beat them. You think this is a game you can quit any time? You want to die a dog's death in poverty instead? But what chance do we stand against them? They're disorganized. Without a strong leader, they can't fight as a unit. That alone should teach them that democracy is an unrealistic ideal. No, it's not. Shut up, Frederick. Is it? Under the right guidance, I think it could make the world a better place. Guidance? Iska, the only guidance commoners need is from their king. This isn't a political movement. It's a pretext for outlaws to stir up trouble. Come on, Fred. People are risking their lives to express their opposition to the royal government. Have you not thought about why that might be? Mm. All they want is a normal life for their family and friends. 
Their methods might be wrong, but I wouldn't dismiss their plight because of that. There we go, Iska. Good head on your shoulders. All this on the backdrop of the Empire invading. We must seize control of this place and ensure our defenses remain unbroken. Stay focused. The enemy is right in front of us. Aye, aye. I'm well aware. I'll say this but once more. Please do not be reckless, Walter Quinn. Me? Reckless? Perish the thought. <clears throat> All right, uh, Donovan has gotten his uh, HP boost, so we're going to start using him as our main tank. Where is this chest? Ooh, way the heck out there. Out of the way of that. Oh, uh, let's do. Uh, let's just get behind this guy. On my way. I've got it. Do an assassination. Eliminate him. off this unit. And they're getting in range of that keg. See if we can get to this chest. Do arena arrows, delay them a little bit. Do deploying for battle. Fun. I don't 
Got the chest. Get back to the party. men is even worse it won't be easy trying to quell them to quell them we will calmly and carefully Nice and rain of arrows to delay them. Need you to move up as close as possible here, dude. Come on. Moving out. Here I come. Ah! The enemy unit has been eliminated. On my way. Deploying for battle. Got that other little EP pip. On my way. I take the long way around. Bye guys. Owned. Deploying for battle. On my way. <clears throat> 
Deploying for battle. The roundhouse slash. On my way. Let's assassinate that guy. Woo! Next target. Moving out. I've got it. Go. The enemy has been eliminated. Nice. They're even bringing out the Cavaliers. What a warm welcome this is. This looks like fun. Maybe it's time for me to show what I can really do. No, no, no. Do I have to tell you? Calm it down, Walter Quinn. Take orders from you. Walter Quinn, Iscarion, stay focused. The enemy's approaching. Are they all behind? They are. All right, we should probably meet the Cavaliers and then set up the keg. Pips here. On my way. I understand. Let's do a Fenrir. for battle. A little meteor fall, why not? <laughs> On my way. Hot. Understood. You think you can escape? Another Fenrir. You think you can escape? Deploying for battle. Shockwave. Walter Quinn, Walter Quinn, what you doing? Right away. Go. The enemy unit has been eliminated. Is that it? Oh my God, they keep coming. How infuriating. Oh, am I not having any fun at all? 
Why do we have to bother with these weaklings? They're pathetic. Since we're already close, let's meet these folks already. Understood. You think you can escape? Moving out. Deploying for battle. I've got it. On my way. I want you to go back, though. Right away. Set up a trap caster. I'll show you what I can do. Next time. On my way. I've got it. Target eliminated. Understood. Go. Join. <clears throat> Let's do a meteor fall on him. Crazy Walter Quinn? They just died. I understand. Right away. I got it. <clears throat> Understood. Walter well, Quinn, get out of the AOE. I understand. Deploying for battle. I got it. On my way. Deploying for battle. Oh, let's do a shadow step on that knight. Ignition. Rod. Yep, gets all of them. Sweet.
Yay! It would seem I've grown stronger. Have you lost your mind? Oh, what did Walter Quinn do? Oh dear, they must be even weaker than I thought. Walter Quinn, our orders! That's the last one, I promise. Last one? How many have you killed? Maybe ten? Ten? These are ordinary people, fooled into disorder by the hollow promise of a better life. They may have broken the law, but they certainly don't deserve death. Look, we stopped the riot, didn't we? What's the problem? The problem is that the Blue Foxes have slaughtered defenseless civilians. That's what people will be saying about us now. Uh -oh. We've lost the good reputation we've worked so hard to earn. But a bad reputation has its advantages too, no? Oh, Walter Quinn. You're not a good girl. I did this on purpose. Just to make life difficult. Let's pick this up later, Fred. We have to go. Ugh. Over six months have passed since the Trovelt Chauvian Empire captured Tagaria Naval Base. Several attempts were made to retake the base during this period, but Commander Osmaldo Selica's garrison has proved impossible to displace. Osmaldo's forces are clearly superior, yet he has made no attempt to push on beyond Tagaria. A state of affairs that left the royal government perplexed as to his motives. Interesting. In the meantime, the Blue Foxes have been put to work suppressing riots in the slums of Central Field. While doing so, Walter Quinn shocks her comrades by ignoring orders and deploying lethal force. On the one hand, Walter Quinn's violent conduct achieves the desired result. The terrified rioters promptly surrender. On the other hand, it severely tarnishes the Blue Fox's reputation, rightly or wrongly mocking them as ruthless killers. As a result, their patron, Duke Hende, has also become a target for criticism from other members of the Lord's Council. Though this did little to discourage him from continuing to strengthen his grip over Southfield. Before the month was up, the Duke had become the de facto ruler of the entire region. Dun, dun, dun. Oh boy. Lorraine, we require an urgent update regarding the situation at Tagaria. Nothing new. Of course. But may I ask why? We're going to retake it. Huh? Wh what? D Duke Hende hasn't mentioned any such plans. He's preoccupied with Southfield at the moment. A preoccupation that is causing his position on the council to grow weaker by the day. It's not a problem for us yet, but it will make life difficult in the long term. However, if we liberate the base, well, then the Duke's detractors would have to stop their carping about his involvement in Southfield. And have you thought of a strategy? The Royal Army appears to be at a loss thus far. I have a strategy, and I'm confident that we will succeed. Hooray! Mm, very well. Yep, we'll send in four people and take out an entire base. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, a 
Amarita. You came. Thank you. Who the heck is Am Amarita? Yes, Andreas. Thank you for inviting me to join the Blue Foxes. How about this? I'll introduce you to the others right away, if you have no objections. Why, yes. None. Anyway. These are people you will be relying on in battle. Try not to make a bad first impression. Understood. Of course. All right, we got some character development. We got one quest. Hmm. Who's this, Rias? You, Marita Barrius, a bounty huntress. She had been set to join the army as a private, but I offered her a place with us instead. She seems capable. Really? She's just standing there. Oh, I'd say you were. Wouldn't you, you, Marita? You, Marita. Yes. You, Marita. What about her background? She used to serve a noble house in Southfield. They were traders. They lost their estate, and Eumerida decided that the Royal Army was her only option. I see. Well, good work, Rias. I never knew you had such an eye for talent. Eye for talent. Um, is this a... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Skilled with firearms, she specially picks off lone enemies. Let's find the sun and increase in numbers. Indeed. All we made clear in the briefing. We have an important task ahead of us. Well, well, well. Interesting. Then I look forward to talking strategy. Deal damage to target enemies and move behind them. The closer an enemy is to you, the greater the damage inflicted. The more enemies there, the greater the damage inflicted. All right, let's get her equipped then. Firearm, a crossbow. Ooh, I like Chaos Cluster, that's nice. Yeah, let's go with the Shell Shot Chaos Cluster, I guess. Uh, let's check out what our...
what our skills are. Technique, skill damage, evasion, auto attack area, auto attack area. She's an area of auto attack. Ooh. Increased damage by 30% when a target area skill only hits 1%. Increased critical hit damage, increased critical hit rate. So she's definitely a uh, technique and crit person. We got a skill points. Let's unlock, start moving down this tree. We definitely want to pick up this chaos cluster and max that out 50% chance of, uh, dealing additional debuffs. That's nice. I like, I like. Check out what crossbows are like. Ooh, I think I like the elder crossbows. All sorts of debuffs. Character development here. Andreas, I have a question for you. What is it, Tanova? How do you go about selecting members for the Blue Foxes? The unit contains knights, mercenaries, foreign soldiers, thieves, but capable warriors, one and all. I find people with talent. That's all. Yeah, forget about that moral compass like Mar Indeed. Malticon, though. I doubt I have ever seen such a force. Not even in my time in King Regald's guards. You defended King Regald? 
Yes. Our ranks were full of honorable knights. But over time, their dedication waned. They began to act for their own profit, thinking only of ways to best their competition. You left out of disgust for what they had become. I did. And now, I pray that the blue foxes do not fall prey to the same ailment. We shall not. You seem very certain of that. I have not a single doubt. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you better take care of Walter Quinn, because uh, she's a... Uh... She's a little cuckoo. Nah -ha -ha. I've got quite a tale for you, Andreas. Have you now? I'd been hoping to speak to you too, as it happens. Who were those men who visited you earlier? They work for nobles who recently moved from Southfield to Centralfield. It seems they've made quite the fortune from some sordid dealings and are in need of bodyguards. It was a request for the Blue Foxes. No, they wanted me to abandon the unit and take some able hands with me. Oh, fun. So I put your name forward as well. If you leave, I shall follow. Huh? <laughs> That's pretty, I um... no intention of leaving. Pretty bold there, Shiva. They say they'll pay double. It could be quadruple and it would make no difference. Very well. I know a man who can't be convinced when I see one. I have no interest, but if you want to leave, I shan't stop you. No, I'm staying. I'm not about to leave just because you've told me I can. <laughs> do what you will. I've not the attachment to you that you may think I do. That much is plain, but you'll come around eventually. All right, that is, I believe, it for side story shenanigans. All right, let's, let's save real quick. Oh, we do have some side missions. And gets. And some Magilumic crystals. Significant amount of uh, gold. Quest to investigate the ghost crypt. Wipe out the enemy and complete the mission. All right, let's do that. Sure, I have the unit I want. I do. Sound looks good. Understood. I've got it. Understood. Deploying for battle. Another one down. All of going out. Plan. Right away. Next time. Go. The, the health pip. That's going to open that gate.
understand. On my way. Let's do a shadow step on that and just take it out. Goodbye. Wow. God, Rios just freaking wrecks. On my way. We've taken control. Moving on up. It's one target. Understood. Here I go. I thought I was supposed to move behind him. of arrows on my way here I come Assassination on him. Goodbye. Target eliminated. On my way. Deploying for battle. We smash our way to the back. Deploying for battle. Right away. Oh, Andreas, what up? Next time. Oh, we can't open that one. This one opens both of those. for battle. I understand. Moving out. Next time. God. Riaz just freaking destroys. for battle. 
Moving out. Everyone capture. Opens the gates. We've taken control. Deploying for battle. Understood. Moving out. Let us do a first chaos cluster. Here I go. Watch this. Oh my god, all the debuffs. That's crazy. Destination. Goodbye. Target eliminated. On my way. Moving out. Capture success. Ta da. Opens the other door. Another big oaf. Speed up the movement here. On my way. Understood. I understand. Moving out. Deploying for battle. Moving out. Shield bash. for battle understood right away another chaos cluster Capture successful. Last door open. Oh boy. Understood. On my way. Moving out. Deploying for battle. I've got it. Understood. Go. 
We're gonna do a Fenrir. Little rain of arrows. Meteor. And, yep, Shadow Step. Oh, man. Shadow step. Little heavy smash. This isn't really my style. Da -da -da, mission clear. Full bonuses. I can still improve after all these years. All right, let's go do the last side quest, side mission. we currently have available to us. Quest to investigate the Udine Forest. Wipe out the enemy and complete the mission. Six minutes. You get a pair of gold ingots. go okay doesn't look like anything crazy at the moment I've got it Who's casting right now? Oh, he is. Let's do a stun shot. I won't miss. The roundhouse to provoke. Deploying for battle. On my way. God damn it. Be gone with you. Nice crits. Archers come in. Understood. On my way. Moving out. 
Coming out. I do a chaos cluster. Oh, that's going to kill him. Flip it. Deploying for battle. Arena arrows, perfect. And a little meteor fall, give him some burn. Okay, can just open now. Cool. Doesn't look too terrible. Deploying for battle. Ah, they're just patrols. Right away. Right away. Chaos cluster. Cooldown, no, not in cooldown, little heavy smash.
Understood. No target in range. All right, I'm gonna have to do a sanctuary. This isn't really my style. I got it. It's because he hung up on the corner there. to it yep last gate okay we can do it moving out Go. are they moving towards us they are Do a Fenrir. And now you will die. Oh. Right away. Lightning rod. quite yet. Who's the one casting? There we go. Du, 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 du. A little cluster action. Understood. All done? Yay! Mission clear. Grown stronger. <clears throat> All 
All right, let's save. And then we'll proceed with the next level here. Recapturing Tagaria. The mission is of utmost secrecy. I'll explain the details in the strategy meeting. Uh, recapture no allies fall complete within eight minutes. So it's a little bit longer one and there's a treasure chest. Listen up, Blue Foxes. We are deploying to Tagaria's port to seize it. What? A bit ambitious for a small unit like ours, don't you think? Finally, a battle worthy of the name. What's the plan? Let's hear a situation report before making any plans. Lorraine, if you would. Very well. 6,000 Imperial soldiers have been positioned to hold a defensive line between the base and the western grasslands. The Royal Army has already stationed 20,000 troops in the area. But their attempts to break through the line have so far been futile. We only have 600 people. Outnumbered 10 to 1. A frontal assault is hopeless. The Imperial and Royal Armies are at a complete deadlock. Solely focused on keeping a watchful eye on their opponent's movements. We'll set off from Southfield, now in the Duke's domain. Circle around Tagaria Naval Base and launch our attack from the sea. The Empire isn't yet aware who's now controlling Southfield. They won't see this coming. Interesting. Taking advantage of Duke Hende's domestic conquest, eh? The only troops stationed at the base itself are Commander Osmaldo and a handful of officers. If we take them out, the Empire's defensive line will be leaderless and prone to collapse. Alatain can then push through with numbers alone. <laughs> Using our hapless allies as bait while we sneak up to stab the enemy in the back? Genius! I don't share Quinn's enthusiasm, but I agree that it is time for us to seize the initiative. I suggest we deploy at once. Got a little neck twinge going on right now. Naval base has seen better days. Commander, we've received reports of a hostile unit approaching from the sea. Impossible. How could they enter these waters? We're blocking the northern and eastern routes. The south is a self-governing zone outside the royal sphere of influence. They would never cooperate with the royal army. I can't explain it, Commander. But the fact remains, they are almost upon us. Engage them at once. Zavatian himself fought to secure this base as our gateway into Alate. We will not forfeit it. Understood, Commander. Yes, you will. I'll put you all down. Put you all down. Why are Alitanian forces attacking from the sea? The plan worked. We take them by surprise. Stay focused, everyone. Patrols attack in waves. Buy us time to intercept. They reacted quickly. They must have a fine commander. Yes. And if we take him out, his forces will crumble. We've done it before, and we can do it again. Let's finish this before more enemies arrive. All right. Understood. Yeah, 
Yeah, might as well ignition. <laughs> On you two, finish him. All according to plan. I understand. Next time. Open that. Deploying for battle. I've got it. And our treasure chest, very good. On my way. Moving out. Right away. I understand. Deploying for battle. Oh, uh, let's shield bash that. Moving out. Deploying for battle. I've got it. Do an assassination. A cluster shot. Here I go. Watch me. A little bit of a heal. The enemy has been eliminated. Got now you've got. On my way. Understood. Mm, let's go. I've got it. Nothing there, nothing there. Go. Deploying for battle. On my way. Oh, there's a cannon there. Deploying for battle. Let's see if we can draw an archer. 
Both of them, nice. go go understood <clears throat> let's do a rain of arrows for battle. <clears throat> meter fall action. Not in range. Understood. Shadow step. The okay, casted yeah. one. I think you should probably get out of the way. The reason why the Empire is feared. Mm. What is it, Estelle? Be scared. I'm not scared. I'm here because I want to get stronger. That's a good attitude, lad. But use your head. Eh? Use your head. Charging head on into cannon fire will make mincemeat of us. We must take the flanks first. I know that. Honestly, stop treating me like a child. I don't see why we couldn't. Deal with the, the uh, reinforcements first. Little Fenrir action. And now you will die. Fire! 
Deploying for battle. Right away. Shockwave. Here I come. Long the enemy unit has been eliminated. It's Andreas. He's not engaged. We're better than you. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Moving out. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Let's do a meteor fall. We could just move out of this. On my way. I understand. Go. Moving out. Shield bash. On my way. Come on, Andreas. You got this. You've done well to make it this far. Ooh. I expected far less from you. So you're the commander, yes? Well, I'm afraid this is our territory. I see. You must be the ones who slew Olog and thwarted our plans in the harbor. Well, I won't be as easily defeated as he was. Men, take aim! Their ranged support from on high isn't going to help our situation. Gigas unit, advance! Uh-oh. We're trapped. What should we do? Isn't it obvious? We kill the commander just like we planned. Come on, let's give them a good show. Understood. Is that all you have? On my way. Oh, come on. I can't get up there. On my way. I've got it. Right away. Oh, Jesus. I'll have to replay this one, won't I? Oh, I might not survive this. Deploying for battle. Go. Maybe it should have done a Fenrir right off the bat. 
or just gotten the hell out of there. Damn. On my way. Moving out. Burn. This is bad. I'll take you down. Oh boy. Oh my god. Wow, we're going to lose. How can I let this happen? Wow. What were you doing? down wow all right let's retry it shenanigans i say commander impossible the savvy like Patrols attacking waves. Fire the reactor. Yeah, we've done it before, and we can do it again. <sighs> Moving out. All right, chest is done. Moving out. Right away. I've got it. Andres, get over here. for battle.
to A. I've got it. Deploying for battle. And let's do a shield bash on the big ogre dude. There we go. Sanctuary. This isn't really my style. And ignition. You're not allowed to die without a fight. I'll take you down. Heavy smash. Nope. Shockwave. Shockwave. One. Shockwave. Uh, let's actually wait for the other one to join in. There we go. Shockwave. Kill the big gun. Finish it. There we go. All right, Iska. I got it. I got it. Lightning rod. So we can get some stuns. Nice. And here I go. shot. Ah, lots of debuffs. Nice heavy smash, getting all of them. The enemy unit has been eliminated. Go. I've got it. I understand. Shadow step on him. Next time. On my way. Let's go get the hell out of the way. All 
according to plan. Go. Incoming. They're here! All units, take your positions! Firing the cannon! We ambushed them and... What is it, Estelle? I'm not scared. So just... I know that. Honestly, stop treating... On my way. Go. We are going to do a fantail formation. Meteor fall. Deploying for battle. Shockwave. Soldiers are coming. Right away. Moving out. Now you've got. I understand. Now you've got. Deploying for battle. The shield bash. Do a sanctuary. Get everybody topped up. And a ignition because we're all just kind of clustered together. Let's. Wreck these fools. The enemy has been eliminated. On my way. The enemy unit has been eliminated. I've got it. Moving out. Done well to make it this far, soldiers. Of I, well, I rate us unit. Is, come on, let's give them a good show. Get the hell out. They're coming. I've got it. Kind of want them to bottleneck a little bit. Deploying for battle. Go. Understood. <clears throat> Do arena arrows. Get some delay on these big guys. You think you can escape? I'm 
Meteor fall. Get some burn going. Got to be careful because we got archers coming from behind. Smash no. That might be good. Time for Fenrir. Last of the big ogres is down. Nice. Okay. Drake is down one. No way. Okay. So let's drop a sanctuary. This isn't really my style. You're going to need to take care of these guys. I'll take you down. There we go. Good so far, doing good. Let's have a chaos cluster there. Heavy smash right to him real quick. Ah. 
A little assassination. All right. <clears throat> you impudent little! Take your positions. Event Commander Osmaldo. Dude, we're gonna take him down before you even get close to us, dude. Chaos cluster. Little delay action. Oh, you've got. Uh, let's do a heavy smash. Make sure they're no, yeah, they're nowhere close to us. Assassination. And let's stun him just for fun, funs and giggles. Nice. All according to plan. Moving out. On my way. Understood. And rare, because why not? Deploying for battle. Got it. Shadow step. Goodbye. Next time. Oh, cluster. Just in case there's more shenanigans going on here. That's it. We don't even have to face the cannon. Not all the loots. I can still improve after all these years. Blood, sweat, and tears. Chapter three is done. Close Chap kept secrets. Chapter four. The Blue Foxes defeat General Osmaldo at Tagaria, delivering a blow to the Imperial front line. Seizing their opportunity, the Alitanian forces pour forward into the base, striking the Imperial troops as they reel from the previous attack. The Imperial forces crumple in disarray and are forced to retreat across the sea. And so, after six long months of occupation, Tagaria is reclaimed by the kingdom. Word of this great victory spreads throughout Diofield, along with rousing tales of the heroic Blue Foxes. Frederick, Walter Quinn, Iscarion, and Andreas all receive accolades from the royal government. And the Blue Foxes are promoted from mere mercenaries to Knights of the Lord's Council. What? What? Their triumphant return is celebrated lavishly, with glasses being raised all over Central Field. Voices echoing their names across the land. 
We're no longer mercs. We're actually part of the two months have passed. And with the Royal Army, I guess. The political squabbling amongst members of the Lord's Council resumes. The question of royal succession, little discussed upon the death of Prince Ivangar, surfaces again. And mm. tension between the factions increases by the day. Lord Councillor Kimball is in favor of the second born, Victor Shatham, while Lord Councillor Joshua has thrown his weight behind the third born, Staris Shatham. Duke Hende declines to pick a side, instead, biding his time, waiting to see what might develop. While he waits, the Duke begins to search for new jade deposits, ostensibly mindful of the potential for war. Said to be in preparation for foreign aggression, in reality, it is simply a front for his ambitions, a means to gain a factional edge. The search for jade deposits will take place in the frontier. A vast swathe of unexplored land. The task of surveying this territory falls to the blue foxes. Oh, good. Oh, fun. Fred, I think it is better if you stay here while I head for the frontier. You can fulfill the Duke's order without me? I. There are still occasional riots here in Central Field. It would be unwise to conduct a full-scale expedition with things as they are. Must we go at all? Tempers are still running hot after the massacre in the slums. Now would seem a good time to focus on quelling the unrest. Still, I suppose we cannot simply ignore an order from Duke Hende. Now that we're not mercenaries anymore, Indeed. apparently. I knew you would understand. And as I said, setting out in force is dangerous. Better that I take a small unit with me. Then have Walter Quinn accompany you. Oh, great. Crazy lady. Walter Quinn? Why? Having her here, with the massacre and all, makes me uncomfortable. She makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. It might also be a good idea to keep her away from Duke Hende for a while. I can't be her babysitter, you know. Iska and I will hold the fort here. Please, Rias. Fine. But you owe me for this one, Fred. Oh, I know it. I might just have to put Walter Quinn down if she's a uh, total cray cray. All right, we're officially in chapter four. Do me proud. Now, oh, until Quinn, she's going with you beforehand, won't you? I don't want a tiff in the briefing. All right. Uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter, all at Tarkov Gaming, uh, playing Final Fantasy XIV four days a week. And we start our playthrough of God of War, the entire series. So we're just going to start with the original. Uh, so definitely tune in for that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, and then I'm also starting to play a little bit of Destiny with some friends. So that is also cool. So if you're interested in any of that, follow on Twitter and again on Twitch where I'll be playing all that fun stuff. So until next time, y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And remember, Master Control oversees all on the grid. End of line.